Hello, 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 beautiful people of the internet. It is your host with the most icy hair. And we are back in true alpha 0.0.13D. Yes, a new version, a new version. Now, if you guys did not see the awesome announcement yesterday, you should definitely go check it out because it's a giveaway. And two lucky people will be winning a Trove Alpha key for immediate access to come join me in this wonderful game. Okay, so some new stuff was added since the update. They added a dodge roll for the gunslinger, which you just saw me demonstrate there. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, they also added a new bluish UI to everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, and we get to get another one. These since now 2,000 gems, since you know how much I love those things, guys. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so as you can see, nice blue overlay to everything. Yes. I did get this. This face. So, yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, we'll save that pinata for it a little bit. So, today, what are we going to be doing? Also, I've been noticing some slight lag at times since they've updated some stuff. It's probably just a little bug, but, eh. Okay, so what are we going to be doing today? Mining, maybe working on my home world a little bit, checking the community chest to see if anybody tossed any goodies in here. No, nobody. You know what? That's a really good item, though. I'm going to be the first person to put something nice in here for somebody. There you go. A nice level 10 exalted weapon. You should be able to move these because I can't read that off to the side over here, but whatever. Okay. I'm a magical unicorn of awesomeness. I have my jump boost, so let us go back to the lobby. Wait, did they change the text there? Hold on a sec. You guys, we are learning together. Yes, they changed it. Instead of log out, they changed it to return to lobby. That is a very welcome change, because every time I always hit log out, I'm like, oh my god, am I accidentally going to leave? So, how many people are online right now? Hmm, not too many. The game's still kind of dead-ish. I can't wait till there's more people. Okay. Oh, a little bit of lag with stuff loads in there. Okay, cool. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Go in one of these new portals, I think. I think they added two more ranks of portals. Uber 5 and Uber 4. Yes, they did. Do I dare? Yes, I dare. Oh, okay, guys. Here. What? Is that a dude? Hey, buddy. What's your name? You have a rainbow coming off of you. These things are probably going to take like for... Oh, yeah. Now they have the ranged attacks. So that kind of stinks. Okay, guys. So, yeah. This is the easy way to kill stuff. Let's see. Right now, I'm sitting at 44 magic finds. So, let's see if it goes up any. This thing sure is taking a while to kill. I don't like how they added that. They probably saw my video and were like, okay, you know what? We're just going to make his life. Hey, cool. 660 experience and my magic find went up one. Treasure chest, maybe? Somewhere? Oh, there it is. Yes, this jump boost is definitely worth it. What did you give me? Why does this show up like this? That's weird. Weapon, level 8, exalted for physical damage, not anything I'm interested in. This dude's at a castle. We're going to go and join him. Do I have bombs? Yes. So any resources I see, I have to mine because I need more materials to make more bombs to blow stuff up. Oh, oh, there's some. Lots of ore. Yeah, so how are you guys? Are you excited for our, uh, seems like mining's a tiny bit faster. Are you excited for our giveaway that's going on right now? I am pretty excited. And I had made a suggestion to the developers. I don't know if they implemented it the last update, but I didn't notice it. But today when I logged into my Glyph client, I have two-step authentication through the Rift mobile app. So it has to give me a code every time I want to log in. But it just logged me right in after it said authenticating. So I guess they either took my suggestion or it was already added in. 
So that's pretty cool. I like when uh, life gets easier. Okay, we aren't going to mess with that because I do not want that thing to attack me. Okay, cool, cool. Getting lots of ore. So yeah, today's my day off from class, so that's pretty cool. I love when I get days off. I only get one of those a week now, though, so that's kind of blah, but whatever. You know what? I will take it as it is and be happy that I even get a day off because some people don't. Okay, so we got some ore there. Um, maybe we'll find another one of those recipe blocks that everybody went crazy over. Oh, some more ore. So, yeah. Um, I see I already got a bunch of entries on the contest and it's only been one day. So, that that is very exciting to me because I love knowing that lots of people are showing an interest and you know if people keep showing the high interest in it then that means in the future then I can get more keys for you guys because I will try my hardest to find you oh there's some good ore over there good thing I dropped down here I will try my hardest to find other ways to get keys for you guys dang it I need to get up yes there we go This ore takes a while to mine, but apparently it's supposed to be good. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked out my uh, playthrough of Dark Souls, whoops, Dark Souls 2, you should check that out because that was a pretty funny one. Oh my god, when you guys see my character's design, you are going to laugh because I made a funny looking character. His nickname's Horseface. You know, hopefully that doesn't really give it away. But this video isn't about Dark Souls 2 anyways, so just thought I would mention that to you guys. I think the sub boxes are broken again, so that's always good news, you know, when people don't get your videos. I heard that from a few YouTubers, which is sad, but eh. Oh, extreme mining. Good old bomb mining. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to the next character class they are releasing. You know, I will show you guys in detail about what that is about. Tell you if it's worth playing as or what. I don't know. I feel like my favorite class is the Gunslinger. I don't really use the Knight too much. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more gameplay with the Knight. I don't know. I just haven't really seemed like I was enjoying it that much when I played as the Knight. I was happy when I got the Gunslinger. I like ranged classes. That's just the style I play as, which is pretty surprising considering I'm doing a melee class in Dark Souls too. You know? Also, I'm very happy to each and every new person that has joined me on my journey on this channel. You know, I always love seeing the new faces and people that have been around for a while. So thank you, thank you to each and every one of you. You know, it means a lot whenever you guys show feedback or show interest in a certain thing, you know. So, uh, let's see. What can we talk about here? Let's talk about Try on World since they're the developer of this game, you know. They make free-to-play games mostly. Actually, the game, uh, I did a little bit of a playthrough as it, which I'm going to continue, is uh, Defiance. They're actually making that free-to-play. So, I really think they're sticking with the free-to-play model for all their new games that they release in the future and anything like that so that's pretty cool to see a developer doing that and of course you know they have paid stuff now a lot of people are always concerned when there's paid stuff oh you know i have to pay to get the full benefit something really cool that they do though is that they they make it so that way you can get everything in game you know most of the time the paid stuff is just cosmetic you know so you aren't really missing out on too much but they do provide good benefits now what I want to say about them is you know they really care about all their people whether they're whether they're people who pay for their games or play them for free you know I I've always support uh, supported them you know because I've always really liked the products and the way they handle business but something that like they've always gotten back to me very quickly you know and they've always done everything they can to show that they really care about their customers you know and i had a horrible experience with one company a while back and i'm not going to mention this company's name because i don't talk bad about anybody you know or if i do i keep it private because i don't like to start drama or anything but there was this one company you know they they followed a similar model to try on world's model 
you know, and I supported their game with a lot of money, you know, they had multiple games, then they're pretty fun games, I wish I could still play them, but after what they did to me and my friend, I can never support that company again, so, you know, I was a big supporter, I was with them for over years, I was friends with a lot of the devs, like, they knew who I was, and they released a new game, so this new game was still in beta or whatever, you know, it wasn't, it, it had just got released and went into the public for them to try out, so, the model they did their games was, um, uh, pretty much to get really good stuff, you always had to buy it, you really couldn't unlock it, unless you, like, farmed a lot of gold in the game, and, um, and worked up and bought it from another player who did do the, uh, cat, like, bought their game currency, so, you know, I would just buy their game currency, because I... I always supported games anyways, so I figured, you know, I really like their games, and I see I see a value in getting that. It's a game I play, and, you know, I'm going to enjoy it, you know, so I didn't see it as, like, a waste of money. So, you know, at that point, I was getting really sick of, like, console games and things like that. I just really enjoyed PC gaming, and to this day, I still do. I don't, because, you know, that's a story for another day, something that happened with my, uh, console account you know i'll tell that after this but anyways so oh enemy so yeah i supported this company a lot and they just really didn't seem to care about their customers you know because okay so what oh god what had happened was you know i had an issue you know i bought something and at the beginning there was a bug in the game where it had a uh cap on how much game currency you could have you know and i was a merchant i love being a merchant in games so i would always find ways to make money so in the game so me and a friend we uh we found a way to pretty much own the economy in this early game so that's what we did and the community really didn't like us that much because uh we pretty much held a monopoly on an item that you needed to communicate with people with and other games do this, so, yeah, you needed an item to be able to talk to people, so, we pretty much owned a monopoly on that item, and we, we boosted the price so high that nobody else could, could get any, and we were pretty much the only people that were allowed to chat, and where is this shooting coming from? Maybe down below? I don't want to get killed. Anyways. So, yeah. Um, so, me and my friend took over the economy. And, you know, the community didn't like us all too much. And, you know, but we, we followed all the rules. So, randomly, uh, the game was bugged at the time. So, if you got banned, you know, you weren't actually banned until, until you logged out. So, one day I received an email saying I was banned. And I'm like, okay, what the heck did I do? Because... I, I never use cheats or anything, you know. The only time I've ever used cheats in a game was like on a console game or things like that. So, I was like, okay, what well, gives? I was banned. So, at the time, I had a lot of items because, you know, I was a merchant. So, I held all my items on my character. So, I quickly made a new account and transferred all the, all the items to it. I'm like, okay, you know what? Um... Okay, I got banned, you know, it's just something I'm going to have to live with. At least I still have all my cash shop items that I spent real world money on. So then I contacted support. I'm like, hey, there must be some kind of mistake because a while back I was hacked. And I don't even know how I got hacked because my passwords are super secure. I use passwords that are 32 characters long and random symbols, something that you can never guess or brute force or any of the methods, which maybe someday I'll make a video on security and how to be safe with your passwords and things but anyways so yeah i messaged them i'm like hey there must be some kind of mistake i got banned today so like um the reason you got banned was for selling your account so i'm like um what are you talking about i never sold my account the only thing i ever sold was because uh, the only thing i ever sold was they had game cards you could buy at the store for their game so i i peep not everybody could afford those so i would trade in-game gold for like, people would pay me in-game gold, and I would give them a card to get the points for the game. So that way they could buy stuff from the cash shop. So that was my business. That was completely fair. I, I had vouchers on the forums. No moderator closed the thread. So it was perfectly legal. You know, I even messaged one of the developers, because like I said, I was pretty close with most of the developers. So they all knew who I was. And I said, hey, is this allowed? And I made sure it didn't break the terms of service or anything. So they're like, oh, you were selling your accounts. So I'm like, no, I wasn't. They're like, sorry, we can't provide um, 
we can't provide information about why an account was banned after it was banned. So I'm like, okay, that's really dumb, blah, 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 blah. And at the time, I just, uh, I like I said, I was quitting console gaming to go into full-time PC gamer. So I had sold my console and I used all that money to get to support this company pretty much i was pretty upset you know i worked hard on my account i put in a lot of hours i worked up my name in the community and oh yeah so the other part was my friend you know he knew nothing about hacking at the time i knew a lot about hacking and cheating but i would never use it on this game like because i knew that i invested a lot of money in it so this was a game that i never did that on and so he got banned for hacking which i found was pretty weird because he always wanted to learn from me and he knew nothing about hacking so I just found that pretty fishy too and he was another person who he invested money in this company and um and then his account randomly got a ban too and they said his was for hacking and that that just made us both laugh you know he got a temporary ban my ban was permanent and they would not reinstate my account so like i said i transferred the items to a new character because in the terms of service you know it said they could ban you at any time for anything no excuses so, you know, I was just kind of accepting of that. It was pretty upsetting and I wasn't happy for, I'm still not happy about this day. It still makes me angry because I really enjoyed that company, you know? They made good games and they had a good community, you know, that I was happy to be a part of. So, you know, to this day, I still will never support them. And yeah, so I transferred my items to a new character, which was perfectly fair. I never chatted on that character or anything and that character randomly gets banned so they said they didn't even tell me why that character got banned so to this day i still cannot access that account and i lost all those items you know and i worked i spent a lot of time learning the economy in that game and pretty much working my way up to be the business person i was in that game so it's pretty upsetting to know that that was the outcome and it just really bothers me so that's why i will never support that company ever again um, where the heck did this enemy go? What? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. So then the other thing, why I quit console gaming was because, um, my, my Xbox account was hacked, right? And I tried for literally a year straight. And at the time, I really didn't know too much about hacking or security or anything like that. Why Why is the enemy's AI so stupid? They changed the enemy AI. Oh god, this is not going to end well for me. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, yeah, so I had got I had got my Xbox account hacked which really stunk and I tried for a year to get it back from Microsoft But no matter what I tried it could and so eventually I had to hack my own account back So yeah, now I have my Xbox account back and that's a pretty valuable account because of the amount of content it has on it and things like that So I'm happy that I got that back, but Why do the enemies run away now? I think they changed the AI to make it smarter this game yeah, so I will never support that other company again, you know, and honestly, I would still be playing their games today if they if they hadn't treated me so wrong. You know, I was a paying customer. They did this to other customers, too. So I think that I don't know. I, I feel like I wasted my money on them. And it's just really sad, you know, because I was friendly. I was I, a lot of people liked me for what I did in the community, you know, but at the end of the day, I guess I can't go back. But yeah, that's my story about why. Oh, yeah. So anyways, how this all relates to what I was talking about. I was talking about um, free-to-play games and a company that I would never spend again. So yeah, there's a lot of sketchy free-to-play game companies out there, you know. It's pretty dumb, actually, how many there are. And, you know, with Tryon Worlds, back to what I was talking about, I've been really happy with my experience with Tryon Worlds. I feel like a valued customer. And, you know, I feel like what I'm getting with them every time I do decide to invest some money in their company, it's really worth it. Like this game, for example, you know, I'm happy to be a part of it and support it. The community, oh God, the community is really great. You know, there's not, there's not another community out there like, like the community that makes up the Trove Alpha community. And if I die going to get this chest, I'm going to be very upset. 
So yes, I really feel like a valued customer with them, and it's just awesome to know that there's still companies out there like that. You know, it makes me happy to know that I'm being a part of something where a company actually cares, you know? It just, just the way, like, I started talking with the community manager, like I mentioned in the other video, you know, and he's, he's really eager to help me out in any way that he can, you know, help promote my channel since I'm helping promote their company. You know, that's, that's awesome when a company does that. So yeah, that's my little rant about that, you know, and let's see where we're off to next. Um, I guess this way, it's, I'm surprised I'm able to stay alive out here. <laughs> so yeah, they're a good company and you know, I hope they don't do any sketchy stuff like, like other companies have before, you know, because that kind of stuff really bothers me, you know. I would never do my business like that, ever. But, unfortunately, you know, every company is different, and I do not want to be attacked right now. Okay, enemy, you have to die because I want to mine. So anyways, guys, uh, leave down in the comments about some bad experiences you have had with companies, you know, because I want to hear about that. Whether it be, let's make it video game related. A bad experience you had with a video game company. Why can't I shoot anymore? Oh, my gun, like, got jammed up for a second. That was weird. Yeah, because I would love to hear about, like, your horror stories with companies or how you got ripped off or things like that. And don't mention company names. We aren't here to talk bad about companies. You know, I don't want to give you guys a wrong idea if you, like, that's why I did not mention the name of the company that kind of screwed me over pretty much. Because, you know, you guys could be a player of that game. And I don't want to give any bad rap about them. And if you guys know who I am from previously... Because I know my friend who I partnered with in that game. You know, he's still my friend to this day, too. Me and him just met in that game. And now we're really good friends because of that. He he was saying to the chat, message me if you want to if you wanna do something big. So I'm like, okay, let's see what this guy's talking about. Because everybody was telling him to shut up, you know. And he already wasn't very well liked. You know, it's just really good memories. But I, I really wish that they, they handled my business differently. I really felt like an unvalued customer. But yeah, like I said, I'm not here to badmouth a company or anything like that. Why is that so bright? Anyways, so yeah, that's why I will not reveal who did that to me. But if you guys know, um, then you might, but I doubt that you will. Anyways, so yeah. Charred World's a great company. I'm happy with them. If that ever changes, then you will... <laughs> Then, then I'll probably talk about it because I promoted their games so much. But honestly, they have a great, great community, a great team of devs. Everybody's super helpful. So they know what they're doing when it comes to customer service. Okay, so off we go to a new part. Yeah, so I'm really surprised I'm surviving out here. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm about to record some uh, Arc Age content, you know, because... Like I said, I, I believe in the work that Tryon Worlds has done, you know, so that's why I support them. And that's how I got my copy of Arc Age, yay! You know, and if we reach a pretty big subscriber milestone, well, that's still an alpha and they're still selling alpha access, I might just have to go ahead and give back to you guys with somebody getting an alpha key for that game, you know? Who knows what I'll do. But anyways, um, yeah. So now we go off doing some more stuff in this game, finding more stuff. I'm still looking for more recipe blocks, you know, because we saw one of those last episode. So that was pretty cool. Any friends online? Oh, Bloodbane. I don't remember who that is, though. He's in an adventure world, though. Yeah, the other day when I went on to do my giveaway contest, people were recognize <laughs> giveaway uh, contest announcement thingy. People were recognizing me and they started chatting me in chat. So I was on here for like a good 15 minutes before I was able to put that video up and start recording because everybody just kept chatting me. But I'm more than happy to help you guys out anytime. You know, just say hello to me. I won't bite. If I don't reply, it's because I'm not looking at chat, but most of the time I am. Okay, let's go get the reward from this castle. What are we up to on uh, Magic Find 48? So maybe we'll get a rainbow item. I was lucky last time I got a rainbow item. What do you guys think? Le uh, guess right now if I'm going to get a rainbow item or not from this one. 
So yeah. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you guys are still watching at this point, you know there is that giveaway. So definitely enter that if you have not entered it. Because you know, who doesn't like winning? Wait, is this castle already destroyed? Yes it is. Wow, I'm dumb. You know, so you could win one of two of the Trove Alpha Keys that I'm giving away. It's super easy to enter. All you have to do is leave a comment. And if you refer friends, like I mentioned, you know, you can earn up to five bonus entries. And who doesn't like getting more entries to win a prize? So anyways, um, so what's new in your life, guys? Um, any other games you're looking forward to this year that are coming out? I'm super excited for Watch Dogs. You know, that's probably going to be a big series on my channel because I love hacking, security, things like that. You know, that's something that's always fascinated me that I spent a lot of time learning about security and computers and all that stuff you know and that's why a lot of people come to me for computer stuff now <laughs> so yeah watchdogs is gonna be a pretty awesome game but apparently has some pretty hefty system requirements but i don't really ever play more than 1080p but i i did uh read about something that sounded pretty fascinating to me um something new if you guys didn't know about it is well it's probably been around for a while but you can actually downsample a higher pixel quality to your lower resolution monitor so like i could do 4k and downsample it to the 1080p monitor i have and it would just look a lot more clear in hd and things like that so i might try that out because i know that it will work with my graphics card i don't know about my monitor you know there's a lot of uh aspects that will make it up so yeah, like I said, I'm going to play Arcage pretty soon and maybe do another episode of Dark Souls 2. I was, for some reason, I didn't get a lot of views on that video. It's weird. Don't really get more. So I don't know. Maybe you guys just didn't see it. Like I said, sub box might be broken, but I was hoping for some feedback about some questions I asked before I recorded that next episode. But I guess I'll have to do a quick Google search before then and figure out what I needed to know. So yeah, I guess this just turned into a mining and adventuring episode, so just exploring the world i hope that some some one of you guys commented on the giveaway because i had a question there what would you ask the developer if you had a chance and i think one of you guys mentioned something along the line of a dedicated pvp server and you know that seems like a really cool idea you know i, I was reading over that I, like i said i respond to all you guys and i went ahead and responded to everybody who entered the competition so far or the contest i mean to win you know just to say oh i see that you entered just to know that you're verified that your entry was accepted by me <laughs> or whatever along those lines i'm trying to get at anyways yeah let's read over some of your questions that you guys would ask and you know some of them are stuff that i already knew so i gave you the answers but a lot of them were interesting ideas that i wouldn't really have ever thought of so where am i going geez i'm heading in the wrong direction <laughs> So, I found some of those ideas you guys had wanted to ask about pretty cool. I really like the idea of PvP in this game. You know, that would be cool, but probably not something I would participate in. Because I don't really like to... I don't... Uh, PvP is fun, but I don't know if it's exactly along what I enjoy. Which, if you guys have watched my Arc Age series, you know, you might find that pretty weird. I'm playing a very PvP heavy game. But, I don't know, maybe I'll learn to love it. Maybe it's just one of those things that you love over time. I, I kind of enjoyed PvP in World of Warcraft when I used to play that. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can go get this other cast. Oh my god, I'm heading in the wrong direction again. The landscapes are pretty crazy in this game. They should have a, uh, like, secret sky castle with a really rare item that only spawns once per adventure zone or something like that that's like a really rare item and the only way you can get it what the heck is that a stump and it has a really high like you need like a oh cool you can get that enchanted wood i didn't even know that those dropped naturally but yeah uh anyways back to what i was saying it should only spawn like once per world or once every time they reset the servers and only one person can get to it and you need a really high jump boost ability to get to it like you can't get to it with building blocks the only way to get to it is with like 50 jump boost or something with the extra jump ability that would be something pretty crazy imagine if i just found a chest up here while i was talking about it then you guys would be like oh that's kind of fishy how did he know about that this zone's kind of dangerous. That's why I'm not really attacking anything. Because I don't feel like dying. 
plus I want to go and loot this last castle. So yeah, um, if you guys didn't hear, I think they announced the dragon biome. So apparently it's going to be dragons this game, so that's pretty cool. I was reading a tiny bit about it. And they also um, announced they're taking suggestions for new characters. I think they're still doing that, so make sure you guys go suggest any characters if you have a good idea for one. I think they're releasing a mage character. If I oh god, this is gonna be what happens if you go in the water at the edge of the map? I never actually found that out. Should I test that? I feel like I should test that. Do you guys want me to test that? Let me know. And next time, if you if I get a if I get enough comments from you guys saying you want to know what happens if you go to the edge of the map and into the water, maybe it takes you to a secret area. Who knows? Then I will go ahead and. I sacrificed my character's life to find that out for you guys. I have no idea what's going on in the chat. I just keep glancing at it. And we are in. Okay. So this castle should not be raided yet. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and find our boss that we are killing. What are we killing here? Saloon bot again. Saloon bot. So yeah, I think they tried to make the AI a little smarter if you're trying to cheese it like I was. There he is. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Great. They have a shooting enemy that can shoot me. I still have to use that pinata. I'm going to go to the hub world after this and use it. We'll kill this wasp first. Oh god, I lost my uh, hotkey for a minute. Whoops. God, these enemies. Wasp, you're dead. There we go, got the wasp. I shouldn't have broke the floor behind him. Oh no! I have no more health potions. That was close. Crafting is faster, by the way. That was something else to add. They changed the, they changed the noise, too. Oh, they just sped up the noise. I see. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That was close. Dang these ball I wish they I wish I could enable like health bars above the enemies. These these I mean like numbered so that way I know how much damage I'm doing and stuff like that. Like an actual MMO I could do those in most of the time. These guys seem very tanky, like oh my god. It's crazy. So apparently I'm having tacos for dinner tonight, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I have an awesome there we go with the glitch again where I stop fire incredibly. I have an awesome roommate who makes food and am I even hurting this dude? Oh my god, he's so tanky. I have an awesome roommate who uh, makes food every now and then for me, so. <laughs> Let's see, what's going on in tax, uh, uh, chat. I read taxes and I said, what's going on in taxes? Derp. Oh, uh, maybe I should be nice and throw down a portal for people if they want a loot item. I don't know. I'm just going to throw down the pinata. I guess I'm riding solo this episode. There goes that wasp trying to get me. Dang, this dude's taking forever to kill. That is not what I want to do. There we go. 
So I put a video up on my uh, music channel of a band rehearsal. Oh god, I almost died. We uh, we we had our first official like practice where we actually recorded something. So if you guys want to see that video, send me an inbox and I'll. You can see me play my keyboard and some of my other band members. You know, we had we had a dude who's uh do who did some vocals for us. You know, because our actual singer couldn't be there, but this dude's pretty talented. And we had a, we had our bass player there. So it was keys, bass, and then our singer, and it was just really fun. You know, we, I came up with a melody, and then and then he came up with uh vocals on the spot, and you know, just fun to play with people that talented. Don't kill me, please. Item, item, item. Give me the item. Okay, I got the item. Outlaw mask. Oh, God. Oh, I died. And I lost 20 magic. Well, that was the first death this episode. <sighs> Let's see. There's nobody in here. Let's go back to the hub world and... Let's see, is, that, is there even anybody in here? Dropping one pinata at hub world spawn. Okay, let's see if anybody comes. I accidentally had cap locks on, but whatever. So yeah, um that was that was a pretty productive somebody sent me a friend request. Okay. Welcome friend. KD Nob, welcome. Who are you? Oh, I like that little gesture hat you have. That's so awesome. Oh, he has the pinata pet. Okay, come on, guys. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for seven people. If there's even seven people online. If not, I'm just going to throw it. See, so guys, me being friendly and giving back to people. One more. We will. Okay. I promise I'm not going to get any more than that. <laughs> we will throw two. Oh, somebody dropped one. Sweet. Okay, there you go. There's two. Sweet. I didn't have to destroy him. Okay, we just got a bunch of infinium. Okay. I'll drop more next time. Fine, one more. Only one more. Cause everybody's standing here, you know, and I'm super nice. That's all okay, that's it. Where's my pinata? There it is. La 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 la. Oh, just more infinio. I really want the pinata mount. I would be so happy if that Oh. A recipe, would you look at that? Did I pick it up? Can I pick it up or is it? Okay, it disappeared. Maybe I did pick it up. Okay, well, that's all I'm giving out today, guys. You know, so. Slash T sure thing. I'm making a YouTube video ATM. Just ending it giving back. Okay, guys, so this has been Icy, and thank you so much for watching this episode of Trove Alpha. I really hope you're enjoying it. Remember to comment about things that I asked, you know, and if you guys want to know about what happens if you jump off the world, we will find out, you know. Um, oh, I have to blur that person's face. Got you. Okay, I will make sure. I, I, I don't, oh my God. I dropped them already. One more for you, I guess. Ugh, people making me get so many pinatas. You know, I'm already addicted to them, and this isn't 
This this isn't. Where 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 are you? Tiger, come here. Where are you, Tiger? I don't see you. Is this you? Is this you? Yes, Tiger. Okay. And pinata. There you go. Just for you, Tiger. Oh, more, more, more infinium. Okay. No big late next time. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, guys, um, th this has been Trove Alpha. Remember to comment down below. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. If you think a friend would enjoy it, share it with a friend as well as add to your favorites because both of those things help a lot. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, then do subscribe because then you get to be alerted to when I do more videos and when I upload contests and things like that, you know, and then you get free stuff. Who does not love free stuff? Also, guys, um, link down in the description if you want to get instant access to this game through uh, Tryon World's website. You know, they have all the supporter packages you can get there. $20 gets you instant alpha access. It's definitely a bargain. You know, you help support the game early and you get other bonus rewards, which, you know, getting to play the game is enough of a reward. And they're nice enough to give you other stuff. So, um, yeah, check out that link if you want to know more. Um, and go to my videos if you want to see the giveaway. Anyways, guys, um... Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot for you to take your time to watch this episode. And let me know um, what you want to see in the future for this game. You know, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, once again, this has been Icy Slice. Well, that's, that's my name in other games. I don't know why I said that. This has been Icy, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Okay, guys, sorry. I uh, messed up my outro with the last line, but really fast before I end this episode. You know, this is just a quick edit. I guess add on because we are going to look at this person's house somewhere. Where, where's your house? Is this your house? Okay. Is this the person's house? Let's see. Ugh. House. Is this your house? Tiger. We're looking at Tiger's house, I guess. Is this their house? I don't know. Where, where's your house, Tiger? Yes. Tiger. I am here putting it in my video. Yeah. So this is Tiger's house, you know. There, there's somebody that I just met in the game. You know, their house is pretty cool. Nice starter house. Uh, look up. What? I can't get up to your top of your house. Uh, what? Okay. Oh my god. I cannot get up. Guys, I'm having like a dirt moment. Okay. This is a pretty... Oh, wow. This is a pretty cool house. I like this house. You know, I need to start getting ideas for a house. Anyways, guys, uh, let me not mess up the outro this time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been Icy, and I'll see you next time. Peace.